Well, hello again. And uh, this week, uh, I'm going to talk about regulations. I'm suspecting that most of you who uh, watch these thoughts um, are involved to some extent, one way or another, with the transport of dangerous goods and that you are aware of the regulations that govern that movement. Uh, in which case you're also uh, well aware, I hope, that of course all those regulations will be changing on the 1st of January 2019. Uh, certainly if you're involved in the air mode um, and they'll apply uh, bang on January the 1st. If you're in other modes, you, you've got a bit of leeway. Um, <clears throat> this year, there aren't that many big changes that have come down from the UN. Uh, there's a new list of uh, dangerous goods in articles, for instance, that's one thing. Um, and there's a smaller thing that has been picked up by all the modes, um, and it's relevant across the board. Um, and it's something that I feel quite um, happy that that has happened because on HCB we have to spend a lot of time um, considering terminological exactitude. Um, dangerous goods, hazmat is a difficult and um, complex subject so we have to get the words right and a couple of years ago the UN uh, subcommittee of experts found to its great embarrassment I think that they'd been using the, the terms hazard and risk uh, almost interchangeably. So as from January you'll find that the word risk is uh, replaced pretty much everywhere with hazard. Now you may think this is you know just just an editorial nicety but if you're involved in risk management or risk assessment you will realize that risk and hazard are not the same thing. For instance um, I was at the TSA conference in uh, Coventry uh, a couple of weeks ago where Ian Travers, who used to be with the HSE, explained that when he goes to his clients now, he stands on a, on a chair and says, uh, what's the hazard? And to which the response is usually, oh, you're going to fall off. Uh, no, that's not the hazard, that's the risk. Um, you're going to fall off and bang your head. Uh, no, that's a consequence. That's not the hazard. Well, what's the hazard then? The hazard is gravity. And there's not much you can do about that. You can't manage gravity. You can manage the risks that come from gravity if you're working, if you have somebody working on the top of a road tanker or tank truck um, and gravity might pull them off. You can mitigate that risk by putting a frame around it or putting a harness on them. So, wherever you've seen risk in, in the dangerous goods regulation, it's probably going to be hazard from now on. The, there's another element to this that is important in the relationship between the transport regulations and GHS. Um, the GHS looks solely at the intrinsic hazards of substances. The transport regulations have always taken risk into account um, in packing groups, particularly in the way that explosives are classified, where the classification actually depends on how they're packaged. GHS never has done that, but now that GHS is starting to look at explosives, uh, they may well find that they have to. Anyway, good luck with the new regulations. Uh, the IMDG code and the ICAO technical instructions are available now, and I'm sure ADR will be online soon. We'll let you know. See you next week.